Hey guys, I am in Vancouver, Canada, my home country for the FIFA Women's World Cup final between US and Japan, a repeat of the 2011 final and it is going to be so good. I got the chance to sit down with US national team turned Fox analyst Eric Winalda and Leslie Osborne to preview this huge final. Obviously this is a big game in the first place and these two teams have history. So what do you think is going on in the minds of the US Women's National Team right now? We've got a chance to um, talk to them a little bit this week and they're just really relaxed. They're ready for this one. Oh. I thought that they would be a, a lot more stressed out, but I guess, you know, when you th if you look at it, the Japanese team has 17 players uh, on the return and 14 from the U.S. side. And, you know, all the indications are there that this is a U.S. team that's just stronger than what they were last time. They didn't start this World Cup particularly uh, as well as we thought they would, mm -hmm. but they've, they've built into it, they've grown into it, and they look really good right now. They, they seem relaxed. Poised, confident, ready to go. I hope the coach doesn't change the lineup. I hope Abby comes in as a sub, O'Hara comes in as a sub. Same business as against Germany. They should win. You are the perfect person to talk to because you've been in this situation. You've been in that locker room. What do you think head coach Jill Ellis is saying to these girls right now? Well, I think this has been a journey for them and they've improved each game, but she's been saying the same thing as go out there, be confident, be creative out there. She wants to give her players the confidence to go out and perform and know what this team can do. The good thing is they've built their momentum and confidence into each game. They're playing really well. She doesn't want to say too much, you know, things are good. You don't want to kind of mess with anything. That. Yeah. And like she alluded to in her press conferences, hey, this team's always known what they're about. And from the outside, people can say what they want, but those girls and Jill has believed in this team and they believed in each other and they knew, they knew what they could do um, in this tournament. There was a lot of speculation about whether this team was gonna be able to raise their level when, the, when it really mattered, uh, especially Carly Lloyd, who is, we had her on the show and, and she's got that Jersey thing going. <laughs> Joy uh, yeah, Joy Z, I mean, but you, know, you wait for, there's certain words where it comes out, but yeah. it's great what it does. But she's got an attitude, and um, I think it's a little bit contagious with the team that she's she didn't have the best start. Um, she started to get better. She's a great leader, and um, the, look, I, I think going into this game, uh, once you've beaten the likes of Germany, you have to start thinking to yourself, all right, we're ready for anything. Yeah. Bring it on. That was her words, not mine. She said, bring it on, let's play. Who do you think that the U.S. needs to be extra cautious about on uh, Japan? This is the thing about Japan is they are collectively so good. They don't have the stars that the U.S. does. Now, Aya Mayama is their playmaker. The more she has the ball, the better Japan plays. But the thing about the Japanese team is they are so strong and compact defensively together, and their transition is incredible, and they can just not be aggressive in a game and one second get the ball and down the field and they can score that's japan so together is their biggest strength and that's the difference between this u.s team and japanese team is the u.s have all of these sydney larue hasn't even played much she's on the bench and amy rodriguez they have all these stars back line front line and in the midfield japan it's a total collective effort on their part final question everyone loves to hear your opinion so what are your predictions for tomorrow what do you think is going to happen i I think we do get an early goal for the first time. Um, I don't know who it's going to come through. It might be Alex, but I suspect that uh, that will force Japan in typical form to be very extremely patient and they'll wait for it, but they'll have to go for it near the end. And when they do, we're just going to crush them. I think we're going to get two late goals and three nothing, a lot of fist pumping, a lot of high fives, it, and uh, a lot of beer when it's all over. Cool. Sounds good. Right. See you at the finish line. You got it. The U.S. is going to win. They're going <laughs> to find a way, um, and they're going to win 2-1 to one or 1-0. One it's going to be a one-goal game, but I just think this U.S. team is something special, and they're just continuing to build. As you can see, they are both very confident in U.S. taking the win, but what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure you guys are tuning into Fox at 5 p.m. Eastern time to watch USA take on Japan in the FIFA Women's World Cup Final. I'll see you then.